one on Sunday, the Eagles have struggled on offense this season. That is for sure. The Eagles offense is averaging the fewest points per drive, 1.28, punting on the highest percentage percentage of drives, over 52%, and recording the highest percentage of drives without a first down, 45%. The Eagles have been held to three or fewer points and a half in each game this season. The Redskins, meanwhile, have also struggled on offense with Kirk Cousins, who has thrown multiple interceptions in six of his 12 career starts. They lost all six games. Skip Bayless. Who wins? Stephen A. Smith, I, I have no idea how the weather is going to impact this game. But I know what my gut is telling me. I'm going to go with the quote-unquote upset that I don't think will be that much of an upset. I'm going to go Washington 28, Philadelphia 24, because I don't think the Redskins are nearly as bad as some people now seem to think that they are. And I definitely don't think all is now right in the Eagles world. I told you last week, a week ago today, that I thought the Jets wouldn't take the Eagles seriously enough and they didn't, and all of a sudden they were in too deep a hole that they could not climb out of. In this case, Kirk Cousins, as we know, can get pretty hot or very cold, very cold against your New York football giants. I think he'll go back to being pretty hot as he was against the St. Louis Rams when he went 23 of 27 in Washington for 203 yards and a touchdown. And obviously, I think Matt Jones and Alfred Morris will be able to run the ball pretty well. And I think that Jordan Reed and Garcon will be able to catch quite a few. I just think the Eagles are not quite back to being the Eagles that we saw in the preseason, especially Sam Bradford. I think they will still struggle some on offense, 28-24 home team. <clears throat> Skip Bayless, I'm right with you. I'm right wow. with you. A matter of fact, a matter of fact, I just think the score is going to be a little bit less. I can see the Redskins winning somewhere along the lines of 24-20, uh, but I do believe they will win this game. you got to remember that the Eagles have one of the third worst yard differentials in the game. Yeah. I think it's like at about 221, whereas the Redskins have the best yard differential in the NFL at about plus 283. And I think when you look at it from that perspective, they're accumulating yardage, they're moving the chains, they're making things happen, whereas the Eagles, have, as I have consistently said this week, have been held scoreless in seven of the first 12 quarters of this NFL season for themselves. I look at it that, I take into account inclement weather. When you've got inclement weather, that goes to the, home, to, to the, to the, to the team with the best running game. Yep. And obviously right now that's Alfred Morris with yep. Matt Jones. Mm -hmm. We also have to look at it from the perspective that in terms of offensive schemes and how your offensive line is playing and progressing, that's also going to help the Redskins. Then last but not least, you have to take into account the fact that the Redskins playing the Giants on a Thursday night yep. are at a decided advantage they because are. that additional few days to protect some of the awkward schemes that Chip Kelly may throw your way, I think that also works in the Redskins' advantage. I'm picking them to win this game 24-20. Now I'm a little worried Both of you about going my pick, Washington, and right? I'm against you again. I'm going oh, Eagles. You're going Eagles. Chip Kelly okay. on that defense. Oh, now I feel better after about the my Jets. Pick. Oh, whatever. I'm not a jinx. When are you going to realize this? Good luck. Mm. Jeez, people. Mm. Adrian Peterson versus Peyton Manning. Who shows out? We'll break down Vikings, Broncos, and pick that game coming up. Joining us now on the phone is Cowboys Corner Orlando Skandrick. Orlando is currently rehabbing from the knee injury he suffered late in training camp. Since 2013, he's led all Dallas defensive backs in interceptions and sacks. Orlando, thank you so much for joining us. Man, thanks for having me. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you guys today in, in it, person in the flesh. It's okay. Well, I'm what not. What happened? What happened? What's the deal? <laughs> uh, just rehabbing. I'm just trying to, you know, do whatever I can to recover and regain the form that I was in before I got injured. All right, understood. I guess that's a little more important. But let's get into it. So your boys lost last week at home to the Falcons. Julio Jones had only three catches in the first half, and then he went off in the second with nine catches for 137 yards, two TDs. Orlando, what happened to your Cowboys defense last Sunday? Uh, I think we just let it get away from us. Um, I think we, we kind of had some technical errors, but you know what happens. That game's behind us. You know, um, the boys are looking forward to this Sunday, and I'm looking forward to watching them. Stephen A, give me just a second with my friend, Take your time. My, my friend Orlando, Take your time. because he has a bone to pick with me. Because when he mm -hmm. went down in training camp, even though I had called him all of last year the best player on my Cowboy defense, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't just jump off the horse at that point and say all is lost. Right. So I started saying, 
Wait a second. It's not like he's Dion Scandrick. Go and so, go he, and so, as so. good as Orlando is, he's not Dion Scandrick. So I'm going to hang in with my Cowboys. But Orlando Scandrick did not like that. So the floor is yours, Mr. Scandrick. Uh, <laughs> Skip, I, I ain't too upset with you, but I oh, mean, um, thank you. I, I think it was a tough loss for our team. It was a tough loss for me. And uh, I think some players are players that, you know, Depending on like how you look at it, you can't replace them. It's not just what I bring, you know, to the defense, but it's what you bring to the team from a leadership standpoint, just from an experience standpoint. But I don't really have a bone to pick with you. I just feel like you were talking about when you All said right. that. Well, I got that, and I will be the first to admit. I missed you during the second half last Sunday oh, at Lord. Jerry World because you would have made a difference on Julio. I'm convinced of that, so I will give you that much. Thank you very much. No, nah, thank you. Go ahead, Stephen A. Well, you, I don't know why y'all want me to be a part of this. It ain't even an interview as far as I'm concerned. It's just a love fest with all of you Cowboys. I, I mm. Look, Orlando Scandrick, you can play. You're a friend of the show. You know I got love for you, bro. But I have no love for your team. I think y'all are average. Even though you've got elite talent, somehow, some way, something will happen to get in the way. I'm sad. Very much so, in all seriousness, that you got hurt. And I don't root against you individually, cause, and neither my boy Dez, because I love me some Dez Bryant. But I just have a problem with the Dallas Cowboys always walking around like your champions instead of a team that hasn't won a Super Bowl in 20 years. Do you have a problem, or do y'all have a problem with me having that attitude? Not at all. I mean, uh, you got the right to have that attitude. We haven't won anything, and I think that we're striving for excellence. And Every day we're trying to get better around here and trying to reach perfection. And I understand people feel like we haven't won in a long time, but as a as an athlete and as a player, you know, part of the Dallas Cowboys, we try to just envision things. You got to envision those things so they can come true. So, of course, we're going to walk around every day and carry ourselves like we're champions because that's what we're striving to be. So, Orlando, as a team leader, tell me how much concern you have about Brandon Whedon playing quarterback at New Orleans this Sunday night? None at all, man. This Zero. Team was built, this team was built to survive injuries, and I think we, Whedon will be fine this weekend. I think our defense is going to show up, and, you know, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Good. Um, Orlando, I have a question. What do you mean this team is built to survive injuries? What proof do you have of that, sir? I mean, our offensive line, you know, our offensive line is great. Our running backs are good, you know, you know, and our defense is built to carry this team. Your defense? You, you mean Absolutely. without you, your defense is built to carry? Really? Absolutely. We're going to be How getting some players back. How you We're going to be getting some players back next week. Next week, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Mm. And and by the way, Mr. Smith, how about? A Greg Hardy and a Rolando McLean and a Randy Gregory will soon be back. And Orlando, how how much better will those players make this defense? A lot. You know, you can't even put – I can't even put it into words, but, you know, to have those players returning that are in the front seven, it's going to make it a lot easier for the secondary and for everyone else. How much do you feel – you guys own the fan base of the Dallas Cowboys, considering that you are America's team, unquestionably the most popular franchise in all of the NFL, yet it has been so long since the championship has come to Big D during the football season. I mean, Lose him? Hello? Orlando. Hello? I, th I think we, we, I think we might have lost Orlando. Yeah, I'm, like, not surprised. That was a very, I'm not surprised. That was a very balanced I'm interview. Mm -hmm. We had the I hater so. and the lover. I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I like, yeah. I like, I like Orlando. I yeah. like a lot of guys on the Cowboys. Mm. It's yeah. just that the uniform, the star, and the helmet, and at midfield, and more importantly, the pathetic Cowboy Nation. It makes me sick to my stomach walking around like they want something for crying out loud, sullying the the mantra and the legacy of this great nation of ours 
who's known for being a winner, but somehow the oh. Cowboys are America's team without a championship in the last Get 20 years makes me sick to my stomach. That's right, I said it. That's okay, right. but it was nice for Orlando <laughs> to come on the show. Yeah. Right now. I got That's number love for Orlando. And my man Dez, I mean, no, I ain't talking about you, Dez. Mm. I ain't talking about oh. you. You know what? How, how's Joseph Randall doing, by the way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, the guy who touched the ball the first three times and nearly yeah, scored yeah, all three times? Yeah, oh, that yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, you know what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. here? Beneath all that bluster that you just heard from that man, <laughs> beneath all that bloviation, mm. is nothing but, but fear. But because he knows that things. as I get all my players back on defense, and then pretty soon, <laughs> I'm going to get Dez back, and I'm going to get little Tony Romo back. And you know, and I know, Super Bowl, here we hey, come. Hey, you know hey, it, scared, and I know it. Hey, and you scared, are scared, hey, scared to death scared, of it. Hey, scared, scared, scared. Yeah. Say those names again, because you said those names and then said if they you know when they get back you're assuming they're going to stay back you yep, sure they will stay back <laughs> are you sure yeah oh, yeah Lord they'll Lord. stay back stay in your psyche <laughs> and and they will haunt you from from about <laughs> december on <laughs> well well i can't wait i, I, hope, I, hope, I just saw I hope that they're yeah. around come out we gotta go to break I, Orlando. Seriously, i hope they're around Orla i hope they're around <laughs> Orlando, thank you for joining us. Yeah. We wish you a speedy recovery as well. Orlando, not Dion Scandrick. <laughs> There's a he's hurricane. All right. <laughs> you are, he's out of control today. Yes, he is. Headed towards the East Coast this weekend. But as of right now, Philly and Washington are still scheduled to play Sunday. We'll discuss that after the break. Stephen A is having a good old time. <laughs>